sure to subscribe and leave a like or a comment on the video below. Thank you for watching. Hi everyone, in this video we're going to show you how to survive the beta. Pay attention, we're going to equip you with a few tips to help you get started so you can make your way through the dangerous New York of Tom Clancy's The Division. In this beta you'll experience a section of our game, from Chelsea through to the base of operations and Madison Square Garden all the way to a part of the Dark Zone. As you start the game you're going to choose the character you want, it's completely up to you. Now we're in the hub, as are other agents. You can decide whether you want to stay solo or play with a team. Let's go it alone for now and see how it goes. Before you head out, check that you're all set with your loadout in the inventory. You can switch between three different weapons, primary, secondary, and sidearm. You can also load one of the three unlocked skills into an available slot, for now. More on that later. Now you should decide where you want to go, and what you want to do. For this, you can use the Mega Map. Let's set a waypoint towards the base of operations. On your way to the base, you're going to cross the Chelsea area. As you move through the world, you'll come across lots of different people. Civilians, enemy factions. There seems to be some enemy rioters over there. Let's try to take them down. The Division is an RPG game, which means that as you defeat enemies, you gain XP that will enable you to level up, unlock skills, etc. Dead enemies drop loot for you to grab, like the scope that you can immediately attach to your assault rifle. You can equip these mods from your weapons menu. You'll need to clear the area of enemy factions before you can access the base of operations. If you take too much damage during encounters, you can use medkits to top yourself up and stay alive. In the fight, you can use the mods that you've equipped, like that scope that we grabbed earlier. Once you've defeated the enemies, you can access the base. And don't forget to grab any loot that's lying around. Entering the base of operations, you'll meet a lot of different people. Members of the Joint Task Force, civilians and main characters that will send you on missions. What you need to do first is unlock the three wings of the base. Security, Tech and Medical. These are your gateways to unlock the missions of the game. You'll also meet vendors who'll sell you gear, once you have enough money. Moving through the base, you will find a board that will update your map with more side missions and encounters. You'll find another one of those boards in the hub. These will immediately appear on your mega map. Let's head towards one of the main missions for the medical wing, Madison Field Hospital. At the start of main missions, you have the option to group up, and you can also set the difficulty level. Let's try it out on our own, so we can try out our different weapons. Additional hostiles detected. We're taking a lot of damage. It's not looking good, and we're down. You can also play this mission with friends, and try a more tactical team approach. You have two options to find your team. Go back to the hub and find other players, or restart the mission and choose the matchmaking option. Once you have your team, you can start the mission again. In fights, remember to synergize with your teammates, to max skill and weapon efficiency, and keep the upper hand.
You can also revive downed team members to keep the fight going. Now with all the XP points we've gained, we just leveled up. By completing main missions, you will be able to upgrade the wings of the base of operations, and also unlock your second, much needed skill slot. This was only the beginning. Once you've completed the missions and activities of the open world, you can always head to the Dark Zone. In the beta, you'll be able to find several entrances. Be ready for action, as you'll run into both enemy NPCs and other players in search of the best loot. In the Dark Zone, you can decide to play alone, or to group up as you run into other players. Just check that they're not trying to kill you first. You can communicate with other players through remotes to flag your good intentions. In the Dark Zone, your agent follows a separate ranking system from the open world character levels. You'll level up in the same way though, by defeating enemies. Since the Contagion level in the Dark Zone is high, this means that the loot that you find is contaminated, and you need to get it extracted before being able to use it. Find the nearest extraction point, shoot a flare, and hold tight until the helicopter arrives. Then, attach your loot bag onto the rope. Once the helicopter leaves, you will be able to access your newly acquired gear from the stash in the base of operations. Successful extraction complete. While the Dark Zone has a lot of NPCs for you to defeat, the whole area is PvP enabled, so watch your back and keep your friends close. You can hunt for some more awesome gear, but you can also team up with agents against enemy factions, or attack other players and steal their loot to keep it for yourself. But remember, if you do decide to engage, you and your team will turn rogue and become a juicy bounty for other players. Your choice. Thanks for listening, that was just a small taste of The Division. Enjoy the beta, feel free to stream and share videos, as well as your feedback on our game. Available March 8th, 2016. Sign up for beta now. Get new game content first on Xbox.